So again, this is a model based on idealized assumptions. This is an ideal case that's predicted by physics, but it ignores air resistance, the flexing of the string, and other possible factors. There may be a little unsteadiness on the support. Okay? All those things are more or less present in this situation. More so maybe in one length than in another, so it gets pretty complicated. Okay, well, so we have an ideal model, and I think that model is going to work really well. And we can test it. You know, we can predict now what the frequency would be if we set this at 50 centimeters. Okay? Just plug in 50 here, square root of 50 is just a little over 7, right? About 7 into 590, you get like 85. Okay? Give or take a couple. Uh, so we, we expect maybe we have about 85 half cycles per minute. Okay? So we could test the model, and I think it would test out pretty well. Now, if we want really short or really long, we might diverge a little bit because we base this on two pretty intermediate lengths. Yeah. Now, a real world tweak though for this model, okay, might be something like this. Now, I'm not sure that would be a really great tweak, but it might give us a, a, a better predictability. This would be f equals a l to the p, and we ask what kind of function is this? Well, everybody wants to say it's an exponential function. It's a power function. You know, you got to know the difference. Very important. Ms. So and just came in and put a stamp on what I was saying about that. Um, so it's a power function. The power is fixed. P is a parameter of the system. Okay, uh, and you have to find a and p in order to do this. Here p is negative 0.5, right? Because mm -hmm. the square root is the 0.5 power, the reciprocal square root is a negative 0.5 power. Yep. If you remember your laws of exponents, we'll deal with that later. Okay? So th th this is a power function where p is negative 0.5. Um, how do we determine the parameters a and p? Well, we have two data points, right? Mm -hmm. So we could plug this frequency and this length in here and get an equation, right? Yeah. And we could plug this frequency and this length in and get another equation. That would give us two equations. How many parameters do we have? Two. That's two unknowns, right? Two equations and two unknowns. And then we solve that equation. All right. Okay? So we're going to do that. Can you write down the equations? 